I'm here in Turks and Caicos to meet with Dr. Austin Gallagher, who will hopefully be able to answer all of my burning questions about shark skin. I just hope these sharks are ready for their exam. Turks and Caicos is a shark paradise, so I'm really thrilled to show you kind of our world, and maybe you can also teach us some stuff too. This is definitely your world. I mean, I know how to dive. I've been underwater here before. I've seen a shark, but I hear that we're going to get up really close to them. Maybe, maybe sharks have pimples? No? <laughs> that might be a new discovery, but there's some really fascinating things that happen with shark skin, so we're going to do some really important dives, get underwater, make some observations. I think it's going to be a really productive week for science. I know you have chum buckets in here, but do you have barf buckets? <laughs> we got it all. Please, though, just don't let me die, because I'm really scared. I got you covered. If you have a pimple or a cyst, I'll take care of you for the rest of your life if you make sure that I live through this. That sounds like a good deal. Let's get on the boat and get in the water. <laughs> OK. I know my way around an operating room. I mean, scalpels, sutures, hemostats, and syringes, these are my forte. But Austin, he needs a hand with a very different kind of surgery. Shark surgery. First, you have a melon baller. I love that you know it's a melon baller. Well, I thought it was yeah. Like a BS term. No, these are really small melons. This is a spaghetti tag. Yeah. This goes into the shark, like yes. right underneath the fin. If we ever recapture the shark or another person does, there's a number and an email on there. You have like an address there. Okay. This is like a crochet tool or something. This is a way to insert it? Or Essentially, to... yep. Oh, OK. So that kind of pop it right into the shark. Not going deep at all. It goes in like it's an inch. It's pop it in. OK. It'll we'll kind of like put it up to the fin and then one, two, three. Oh, OK. It doesn't hurt them? They actually don't have the nervous system capabilities to feel pain. Of course, you got some suture that's this giant. And then yes, some pretty yes. nice hemostats here. Hemostats, yeah. yes. But you're not holding it like a surgeon. Well, let's see. Well, we use it between our fourth and our fifth finger. And then you can flip it around so that you can do other things, like with other tools. You usually that's use cool. it like this so that you have a lot of control. I didn't know that. Oh, All this sorry. time, no, I've been doing it the I wrong way. So we're going to draw some blood, too. Yeah, all really. this is really focused on trying to understand the health, survival of the animals. We can do dietary studies from the blood, reproductive hormones. And what I'm going to really need your help is actually putting this acoustic transmitter tag inside of a shark. OK. Pretty amazing technology, actually. We've tagged a reef shark in Turks and Caicos, but it would be ideal if we could tag a nurse shark so we can start tracking that species out here. And if we ever recapture the shark again, it'll tell us the shark's numbers. All right. The shark's going to be in the water the entire time, so we kind of just go in as quickly as we can and just kind of get it done. How thick is shark skin? It really depends on the species, because the mating systems of sharks are really quite aggressive. The teeth are really sharp, so they want to have that protective layer. Like this thick, like this thick? Like like that. Oh, that's great. You know, They have millions of little teeth that line the skin, so it's like you're cutting through sandpaper. If you rubbed up against it really hard, you, you could... could get shredded. We actually, it's kind of like a term of endearment in shark research called shark burn. Interesting. When we cut into skin, like human skin, it does what we call fish mouth, where it like, you know, it splays open naturally because there's elasticity to it. Does the shark skin do the same thing or does it just... It doesn't really do that. To... That's really interesting. If we see different species, I want to hear all about oh, yeah. them and how they're different. That's really, really cool. Yep. And you'll see, like, different color skin. Uh, if we get a nurse shark, you'll be able to see they have much thicker pebble-like structure on the skin. It's pr pretty amazing, actually. And they have two barbels on their... Uh, barbels? So, like, kind of like a catfish. Nurse sharks have those. I'm going to ne name my next cat Barbel. Barbel. <laughs> That's they, a like, good word. Isn't that a good word? Barbel. It's a great word. Because okay. they live on the bottom, and they put those barbels, we think, into the sand, and they can you know, feel if there are anything that's kind of cool. around them. Yeah, declaration. This is the first time a dermatologist, certainly a pimple popper, has popped something into a shark. We're all about making history here, so. <laughs> OK. All right, let's do it. Yes. Now that we know that nurse sharks are in the area, we need to see if we can find a willing patient for our skin procedure. I just don't want them to, like, throw that thing out there, and I'm so holding on to this. All right, go for it. Not tangled. Okay, I want to make this good. Ready? Yep. Ah! <laughs> it's not bad. Now I'm just letting, keep letting it go out. No, that would suck. Go. I gotta do it again. Please, like, make sure that clip, like, makes it, like, you know, someone's gotta, like. It looks like our patient has arrived. Hopefully, we have a nurse shark so Austin can learn a little more about the local population, and I can get up close and personal with a brand new species. Let's see what it is. You can see the tension in the line here. And see how surgery with shark skin actually works. Yeah, 
Dad's a nurse. Say it's a nurse. Nurse shark. Nurse. Nice size one, too. Dang. That looks like the biggest one we've seen. To the left. There we go. Ugh. All right. That's good. Pull this back. All right. Shark is secure. So you can feel the skin. If you go this way, it's really smooth. All right. You come that back. That's rough, yeah. That's almost like you're going to get splinters. We need the measuring tape. All right. We're going to take those three measurements. 150, 165. OK, great. 215. Perfect. That's good. Okay, now just let them chill. So now we're going to let the shark go into a chill state. This is okay. called tonic immobility. When we put the shark upside down, it actually kind of goes to sleep. Wow. It's really nice for us because it allows us to work on the shark in a safe way. I wish uh, I could do that to my husband, just turn him upside down. Huh? That's it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the spaghetti tag. So I'm going to make a little cut right here. The skin is tough. Stay still. One, two, three, go. Great job. The next I'm going to need biopsy for this, okay? OK. Like, I'm going to take a little scoop here. Yep. OK. Great job, Sandra. Give that to someone to put it in a vial. So here's our acoustic tag. Okay. So I'm going to make a little cut right here. It's like me trying to do surgery, like, on the Titanic or something. I'm afraid of getting splashed by cysts, but not by the water. Nice. All right, you're going to put that acoustic tag right in. Great job, Sandra. OK, Good now job. it's suture time. Yes, you got it. We're going to do a blood sample. OK, right got it. Nice job, guys. Only about three to four cc's. OK, that's good. I can do this for a while. This yeah. is maybe better than pimple popping. There you go. Well, we're, we're here if you ever yep. need us. You know? <laughs> so we're going to cut the check loose. So now that shark's going to be, you know, tracked forever by us, which is great. Really? Yep. Guys, great job. Yeah, that was awesome. We just got so much data from that shark. We're going to be tracking her for a decade. The actual shark surgery part was like you're in a combat zone or something. You're trying to do all these things. Meanwhile, the boat's rocking all over, and the ocean is splashing you with water into your eyes. So you've got to do so many different things at the same time. I mean, their skin is superior in so many ways. It's thick, tough, super clean, yet feels like sandpaper because of the dermal denticles. They have a clear evolutionary advantage. <laughs>